y'all so welcome back to the channel um working on side skirts today so uh i'm gonna show you guys how we put the side skirts up together so here's the cool racing side skirts i just got done with wrap um as you can see it has a lot more aero than the standard side skirt so here's your standard with some uh some aftermarket you know side splitters on there uh don't know the brand not really familiar with this uh years products and brands and stuff so i mean they look nice but this looks even better i'll tell you that so this is a cool racing um side step with the uh, side under spoiler uh so basically it does not sit flush hold on Let's see if I get a better angle. All right, so you can see the edge of the side side under spoiler doesn't fit flush with the uh, actual side skirt, um, so I had to align it off of this edge and off of this edge. They are they stick out a little bit, but I just went and uh, found a like a middle point them both so here's kind of what they look like after installing it uses m8 by m5 by 0.8 uh, screw and a nut um, when I drill the holes I basically where is it right there I the sidestep had holes already so I just kind of punch them. This is a really good tool I like to use when I'm dealing with fiberglass. Uh, it's spring loaded, so you kind of push where you want to punch and it creates an indentation. And then obviously you can see the drill bits and uh, drill the holes properly. I'm um, going to go ahead and finish up the other side skirt and then uh, work on installing them. So we're, on, we're working on the next side skirt. And this is what I meant about this having an indentation. So the uh, side step diffuser comes with holes already, but the side skirt doesn't have any holes for it to be fitted. So with this being spring loaded, um, I usually just punch the center and from there you can see it's hard to probably see but it leaves an indentation so that the drill bit can go in there without moving around and it settles in there it doesn't move around well it is now but there it's in the hole and it doesn't jump around it makes drilling a whole lot easier when you're working with fiberglass so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch all these holes and start drilling pilot holes and then go on the bigger holes so that we can fit the uh, bolt in there Alright, here we go. We got the side skirts on, just one side. So, I don't know if you could see, but this door seems cleaner than that door. Uh, which is true because uh, there was a bunch of stain from the um, brake dust. So, I cleaned up this door with a polishing technique without using polish because obviously it's satin. So, it'll, it'll you know, obviously make it shine but um, I use a cleaning agent um, it's a mixture of degreaser um, some uh, alcohol cleaner and uh, wax and grease remover so it's and then I used it in a polishing technique with a brand new polishing pad just no uh, compound or polishes used on it or any kind of wax so first take on this side skirt compared to the stock it's a glimpse of the stock 
it's really aggressive um, the front bumper um, is going to get installed soon the rear bumper with the rear diffusers getting uh, wrapped as we speak so here's more of uh, what the skirt looks like from a rear three-quarter view I love it Alright, so today's uh, install went by pretty quick, um, pretty easy. I want to say the, the fitment was uh, 10 out of 10. Um, when putting the bolts in place and having the, drill, the, the holes ready to be drilled, this is my best friend when it comes to fiberglass and having uh, pilot holes set up. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a spring loaded punch so you can adjust you know, how much you want to deeply punch the hole in or or you know um have it shallow uh so this adjustment knob right here you can adjust the impact on it um and keep in mind if you're messing with like really thin fiberglass if you have it at the strongest position it'll probably crack the fiberglass than actually just punching it so um i usually keep it somewhere in the middle and and, and just go from there but um, yeah, like I said, this was a very big help for me. So that's why every time I do fiberglass work, any kind of fender flares, bumpers, uh, skirts and such, I use this all the time. I've had this for over two years now and it hasn't failed me yet. Um, I'll shoot the link in the description where to get this on Amazon. Um, so yeah, again, thank you guys all for uh, tuning in. Catch you guys next time. Later. Bitch, I did it, I made it, I'm loved and I'm hated, I started fun to